Hey guys, in today's video, I will be reviewing Titan Shield sleeves. But first, a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these Sacred Beast cards, as well as a few other cards from my collection. So there'll be a total of three winners. Just make sure you're, you like this video, you're subscribed, and let me know in the comments what you think about these sleeves. First off, we went to Amazon and did a quick search for white Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves, and the first hit that you get is Titan Shield. They're $10.99 for 150 sleeves, which is a really, really good value, believe it or not. Normally, I would buy Ultra Pro uh, 60 sleeves for about $6.38, and that comes out to about $13 for 120. So you're actually getting a, another, you know, 30 sleeves. It's a pretty good deal. So here's the packaging. There's a customer care card in the back that I'll look at here in a little bit. But I really like the packaging. Here's the Ultra Pro packaging. So this is what I would normally buy. Both are nice. So here's my Light Sworn deck. This is the actual reason why I wanted to get the Titan Shield sleeves, is because I wanted white sleeves to match my Light Sworn deck, because I'm OCD like that. You know, light attribute, light deck. So there's the Ultra Pro insignia, so you can see those are the black sleeves that I would normally use. And just really quick, I'm showing my Shadal deck. So you can see what the black sleeves look like when they're not double sleeved. My Light Sworn deck is double sleeved, so it might look a little bit different. I'll be doing a shuffle review later this video too, to kind of show you which ones are better for shuffling. Here's the Titan Shield customer card. You got 90 day warranty. Covers all those things below. And then on the other side, there's a email and they get back to you within 24 hours and I can attest that is true they did get back to me really quick on these sleeves because I wanted to review them for my channel and also for my light swarm deck so here's the sleeves the interesting thing is the back of these sleeves I actually have this perforation it's almost like bubbly uh, but it's it's still really smooth and then on the front of the sleeve it's smooth just like it would be on an ultra pro sleeve so the aesthetics of it is very nice and smooth, and I like that. Here's a side-by-side -side of the Titan Shield sleeve versus the Ultra Pro sleeve. And uh, the width is actually a little bit longer on the Titan Shield sleeve. You can see from left to right, the Ultra Pro sleeve is actually a little bit less wide. And then from top to bottom, the height is about the same. And then I double sleeved that one on the left, and the one on the right is just a Titan Shield sleeve. There are the, the sleeves I'm using to double sleeve it. I believe they're like dragon sleeves, whatever those dragon protector sleeves. And then here's a side by side of uh, Ultra Pro sleeve versus Titan Shield. To me, the hollow looks about the same, so you're not losing anything out by using Ultra Pro versus Titan Shield. And then here I'm doing the tear test. This is the Ultra Pro sleeve first, and that thing ripped like butter. It was super easy to rip through that thing. The Titan Shield sleeve, I actually had to put a tremendous amount of force into this thing to break through that side. So hopefully you're not trying to, to rip your sleeves, but uh, if you did, Titan Shield would last much longer. And then I'm doing a test here because I found out after putting some of the cards into the Titan Shield sleeves that it's actually a lot easier to put your cards into an Ultra Pro sleeve. Here you'll see you kind of have to put some force down. And I actually don't like this because you can damage the top of your card when you're putting them in. And it's a big deal when you got a card like this Honest here that's uh, you know $120 plus and you're possibly damaging the top just by putting it into a sleeve. So you have to be very careful if you do use these sleeves when you're putting the cards in. It takes some time to figure out. I, after I did a bunch of the cards in my deck, I did get better at it. You just have to go slow and uh, put slow force in, and you can get it to go all the way down. But just be careful. That's the only con that I would say about those sleeves. Here I'm going to show how easy it is to push a card down into the Ultra Pro sleeve. See that? You just barely tap it in, goes all the way down. So here my Light Sworn deck is fully sleeved now. 
My OCD is happy now, guys. Light attribute, white sleeves, it matches. Here's the shuffling test. These things shuffle very smoothly. They're very easy to shuffle. I think it would last a long time in a tournament as well. And then here's my Shadal deck. I took out those loose sleeves so I could do the shuffle test with this. I did these back to back so I could tell you which one shuffled smoother, but really they both shuffle about the same. They're both easy. I feel like if you're comparing shuffling, you can't say one is better. And then I went through and I double sleeved all these because these are part of my collection. I don't actually play the deck in real life. As you guys know, I am big on collections. So here are some of the big cards, all double sleeved and ready to go.